This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 236 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Kentucky Performance Products. Visit them at kppusa.com. Enjoy today's tip. Hi there, Glenn the Geek back with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today we continue with this week's series from my wife, Jennifer. We're calling it the anniversary series because it's our anniversary this week, and uh, we thought that we'd just let her provide all the tips and put her to work. After all, what do you do with your wife on your anniversary? You put her to work. So that's what we're doing this week, and we hope that you enjoy these practical tips by my wife, Jennifer. And we'll be to Jennifer right after this word from Kentucky Performance Products, And then Jennifer has a practical, valuable tip for you today. Regular listeners to the show know that we love Kentucky Performance Products. And that's an easy thing to do because Kentucky Performance Products stand behind their products and they believe in them. Your complete satisfaction is guaranteed. If you are unsatisfied with any of their products, they will gladly refund your money. Does your horse or pony get fat on air alone? Is he living in a dry lot or turned out with a muzzle? Can't feed him more than a handful of grain and some hay? Then you need microphase. Microphase is a great way to ensure your horse or pony gets all of the nutrients he needs to stay healthy without adding calories to his diet. Microphase contains the vitamins and trace minerals not found in grass or hay, and your horse will eat it right out of your hand. You can learn more about Microphase and all of the products from Kentucky Performance Products by visiting kppusa.com. That's kppusa.com. Check out Microphase. Well, hi, Jennifer, and welcome back to Horse Tip Daily. Hi-ho! Jennifer's the only one that I get to record in the same room with two different microphones instead of on Skype or on the phone, and that's because I'm married to her, so it makes it quite easy. Yeah, just we're all about the nepotism here that's at Horse right. Radio. That's right, but you have good tips, and they're, they're unusual, I, which fits. But, hey, uh, <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> but they're always very unusual and different and stuff we've never heard before, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you insinuating? <laughs> so how are we going to help people today? Well, today we're going to help folks by um, shopping outside the tax shop. All right. Um, how to help your barn out by shopping at the pet store. See, that's my job. I always have to shop the grocery store and everything else. The only place she shops is in the tax store. Yep. So uh, so that's this is an be. unusual tip. She's Basically what she's saying is this is a tip for your horse husbands, where how they can shop outside the tax store. Well, many of us horse folk like to go to the pet store, too. In some oh, parts of the country, okay. the pet store. So and you weren't talking the about the grocery store. store. No, 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 no. <laughs> in many places in the country, the uh, feed stores and tax shops are also pet supply stores. Right. Which is awfully convenient for us horse folks, since we like to go to those <laughs> anyway. Um, so we've all dealt with uh, stinky stall syndrome. Um, particularly the ammonia issues that we see so much in the stalls. There are assorted products made specifically for the horse industry to help take care of that, but at least personally, I've never been thrilled with them. Um, I find you use a lot more than the label says, and they have very limited result. Um, And I'm particularly sensitive to ammonia smells myself, and um, even though your horse can't say so, he is as well. And keep in mind that his nose spends a lot of time about two feet from the floor. And ammonia is heavier than air, so the ammonia hangs out right down where your horse's nose is. So when you walk in a stall at five to six feet above the floor and smell the ammonia, that means the ammonia is that much stronger where your horse's nose is. You know, it's funny because we interviewed um, one of the b- biggest stall or barn builders in the country that makes all the big fancy barns for the for the big rich people, mm-hmm. and one of their big uh, challenges is always the smell and, of the ammonia and mm-hmm. how to how to do circulation in the barn so mm-hmm. that uh, it you know it reduces right. that so it is a concern for everybody right and um, there are completely separate nutrition issues that you can take into consideration to eliminate the the ammonia at the source the horse completely different shell um, but once you've got it and particularly nowadays people use rubber mats in their stalls generally speaking it's several mats. So the urine gets underneath of the mat, um, decomposes it into ammonia, and it stays there forever. So you can put all the powder product you want on top of that mat, but if the, if the matting underneath has urine on it, it's never going to go away. 
Uh, so one of the things that I discovered at the pet store or at the pet supply department of your feed store is the odor and stain control products made to clean up after your pet. Um, one of my personal favorites happens to be Nature's Miracle brand, but there are several others on the market that were probably just as effective. I used it this morning to clean up after the cat. There we go. Yep. Love those long-haired cats and their hairballs. Mm-hmm. Um, of all the places you could step in the entire house, you had to pick that three square inches. It was dark. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, what makes these products different is they're liquid and they're designed to decompose the organic matter that's making the stink to begin with um so you apply the liquid to the area that is causing the smell and in a horse's stall it's going to be the wet area and it will literally instantly make it go away now if you have a dirt floor you're going to use a little more of it because it will have soaked through um i like to put it into a spray bottle and put the spray bottle on stream because there it's cost effective to use it versus the squirt bottle that it comes in at the store um I surfed around online a little bit, and for a 32-ounce bottle of Nature's Miracle, you're going to pay about $8.99, which sounds like a lot. But when you consider the health of your horse's lungs and the fact that it really does get rid of it, um, I think that's a really smart investment. It does get cheaper as you buy it by the gallon, et cetera, but I only have a few stalls that I have to deal with in life, so the the, uh, 32-ounce works just fine. Um, And when you clean that stall, if you notice the odor building up, shove everything out of the way, turn the mat up, put it on mist, and spray the bottom of the mat with this product. Um, And unlike hydrated lime, which was my favorite until I discovered these products, it is not caustic. It won't damage the mats. It won't damage the floors. It doesn't matter if the horse gets it on him. Um, You're not going to read the label and say, don't touch it. It's not going to say rare rubber gloves. It's it's a, a natural enzymatic action. So it's an awesome product to keep around for the stinky horse. You can pour it down the drain of your wash stall if the drains get musty smelling. Um, it's a it's a really handy product. Great. So that's how to keep your stalls destinkified. I don't know if that's a word. It, it is now. Sounds good. It sounds good. I'll put that in the show notes too. Destinkified in case you want to use that one in the future. All right, Jennifer. Well, it's great to have you here again, and uh, we'll have you back soon. Ta. Well, thanks again to Jennifer for joining us this week, and we'll have more of Jennifer's tips as the week rolls along. Remember, you can drop me an email at glenn with two ends at horseradionetwork.com. And don't forget that we're finishing the two-part series. We replayed the two-part series on the Unwanted Horse in America, the Mustang story. We're doing that at stablescoop.com, and that's live now for the part two. You could listen to part one last week, and we... Borrowed that from the Western Radio Show, Jimmy Kay and Alan. Thank you very much for letting us borrow that over at StableScoop.com. And don't forget to join us on Facebook. You can find us there. Just search for Horse Tip Daily. We have a lot of fans there on Facebook, and we post all the shows there. People listen to us while they're surfing their Facebook and chatting with their friends. So that's another way to do it. We would love your feedback. Uh, You can go to the website and just click the contact link at the top of the page. Send us a little email. We'd love to hear from you. What kind of tips do you like, don't like, and all that stuff. And don't forget to check out all the other great shows on the network at horseradionetwork.com. Well, I'll be back again tomorrow with my lovely wife, Jennifer. Until then, stay safe, everyone.